Hey guys, this is Dan, adventuring today. These are some of the most exciting days of my year. The days that I get to drive over to our storage facility for our travel trailer. And uh, so I thought I would share that day with you guys today. So here we go. We are, uh, this is where we store them. A lot of people store their boats and mainly uh, RVs here. So we got motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, the whole shoot and match. And uh, this, this pad up here, they just built this um, to keep the, the, the vehicles, you know, a little bit safer. Down, down in the bottom, it's a little bit of a floodplain. So if we get one of our, seems like, annual 500 year floods, that area way back there will get flooded. And uh, where you see the top of this hill here, like where that Seneca is parked and where my trailer is parked over here, this is about three feet above uh, the last record that we set uh, from our floodplain. So this is, I think we're about 48 feet above uh, the river level and the peak was like 46 feet maybe, maybe it's two feet above. So anyway, there's my Mesa Ridge and um, excited to come pick this bad boy up today. So. I'm gonna get her hooked up and uh, and bring her home. So anyway, love to hear where everybody else stores their RVs. Uh, this is a great facility for us. It's very safe, very flat, and uh, they've got cameras that monitor this place. Cops come by all the time. Uh, I guess hardly anybody ever has a problem here. So anyway, it's just a great, uh, great location here. So uh, we will talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. And it's as easy as that. So what I, what you may or may not have picked up there, but I, uh, I didn't explain was that when I got to the travel trailer, the battery was dead on it. So, um, so I, I needed to back up and then connect the trailer using my uh, seven pin harness here and uh, just wait, wait maybe about a minute or so and then the um, jack stand then worked. So that's a lot of work cranking that thing by hand as maybe many of you know. Um, this one, this this uh, trailer's got about, you know, about 1,300 pounds on the pin, so uh, it's uh, it's a pretty heavy trailer. So anyway, but that's uh, that's how easy it is to hook up a weight distributing hitch. Uh, you just back it up. I'm here all by myself. I mean, I don't know what that took two or three minutes, and I'm just gonna make sure that these uh, doors are locked. And uh, before I head home, so usually uh, the guys will put some blocks on these tires so I just want to make sure that yeah there's one right here you know so I can actually pull away uh, looking good I want to make sure the tires got air in them I just checked these tires about three or four days ago we're uh, headed up to Wisconsin in a few days and so I came out here three or four days ago and made sure that the tires did have air just in case there was a problem, I had time to um, work on that before our trip and everything checked out great. So everything is really good over here. Um, everything looks normal, trailer looks good. I got no obstructions. So I'm ready just to pull out and uh, take off. So I've got the blacks in the back of my truck right here. I'll close up the, the top, my tonneau cover, and uh, we are good to go. So. Easy as that. All right guys, so back inside the truck. So I just uh, made sure everything was buttoned up outside and now I'm back in the truck. And so I've got a little bit of a routine that I go through uh, when I get in the truck. I just want to make sure everything is checking out. So I go over here to uh, the, the towing status menu and I just want to make sure everything is checking out. So 
The gain is where I have my uh, trail bank controller set at. Uh, this is my trailer, it's a Mesa Ridge. I've got 5,662 miles on this trailer and uh, everything is checking out great with the lights. So that means I've got a really good connection with my, uh, my wiring harness. So we are, we are good to go there. So the next thing I do is I will come over to the, uh, I've got a diesel, so I've got a, 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 a brake, an engine brake that uh, runs through the turbo. I think they call these Jake brakes in the semi world. And so there's two modes for this. You push it once and it's on all the time. So if you take your foot off the gas, uh, the best I can tell is that when you take your foot off the gas and you're just coasting, um, it's starting to apply a little bit of uh, pressure uh, and a little bit of, of braking and drag through that trailer. Um, I don't like that setting as much. I push it one more time, I get into the automatic mode. This way, the trailer brakes are only engaging when I put the, my foot on the brake of the truck. And uh, just it's a much smoother experience. I think you probably get a little better fuel mileage by being in that mode. And uh, it's just more of a natural feel, feel for the driver, but also the passengers in the, in the vehicle. So. All right, so that's step number number two, I guess, or number th yeah, step number two. Then I come over to tow haul mode. I'll push that button in, so I get my tow haul indicator down here, and then of course I want to extend the uh, the mirrors so I can see around the vehicle. So sorry about that. That was the wife calling, and so I've got the the mirrors extended. You can see that uh, we can see right along the side of the trailer. I've got these mirrors angled down so to my blind spot, but I also have them angled so I can see curbs on my, my tires. And uh, same thing over here. So this is the view from myself looking down at the trailer, and then you can see in the mirror on the bottom, um, I can see into my blind spot very easily, and uh, I can see my wheels and tires and see exactly where they're positioned. I use this one a ton as uh, I'm, aligning myself down the highway and seeing just making sure that I'm not too close to the to the curb or um, or I'll you know use this mirror over here if I'm passing another semi truck or another RV on the road and I want to hug the left shoulder a little bit um, it gives me a really good angle down low so I've got a real good idea of where I'm positioned on the uh, on the highway so um, anyway with that, that just gives you a couple ideas of what I do to uh, get the trailer set up and uh, you know where we store it and how I hook it up and how I arrange all my settings and so forth on the, on the truck. Nothing breakthrough here, but this is just what we do. And uh, so if you watch my next video, um, I have been recording mile per gallon videos on this truck, on this Super Duty. I've got an F-250 with the Power Stroke Diesel, 2017 is the model year. And the last one I did was a little bit ridiculous. I got a few comments saying that it was ridiculous, and I completely agree it was a ridiculous video. I, I drove the truck on this specific route, which I'm getting ready to do with this truck right here. Um, and I'll link this uh, this YouTube video I'm going to make at the end of this video. But uh, but in that in that previous video, I was going for maximum miles per gallon. I um, I only drove the truck at 45 miles per hour just to see what it would do over this stretch, and uh, I got just under 31 miles per gallon. So I think if you were really driving the vehicle for max miles per gallon, you could probably get even a little bit better than that with the diesels. Uh, but of course. I, there's probably not one person on the planet that buys a truck like this for miles per gallon or max miles per gallon but I, I did that test just so I could possibly prove that you know these vehicles can get really good miles per gallon if driven the right way and uh, they can compete with maybe even uh, other 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 vehicles on the road that uh, like SUVs and things like that you might be really surprised at, at what they can do now this next video I'm gonna make though is towing that 11,500 pound travel trailer that I just showed you up that exact same stretch of road and we're gonna see what we do um, on that road I've got a 4% grade I go up it's about 600 feet uh, we're gonna see what how the transmission performs and what it does it's a super hot day today and and uh, should be kind of an interesting video. So anyway, thanks for being here today. I appreciate that. I give this video a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe, share with your friends. And uh, if you have any comments, please list those below. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. And have a great day.